Next up on WTV, a recap on a three-day competition, a year's worth of prizes, and today's Sports Minute. WTV's daily update starts now. Good morning, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Monday, February 25th, and I'm Melody Tabali with today's daily update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. More than 20 DECA students participated in a variety of state competitions from Thursday through Saturday. WTV's Isabella Santiago has the details. Many DECA students participated in state-level competitions last Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Each student participated in role-play competitions where they were given a problem or situation related to their individual career cluster, such as marketing or finance, with 13 students advancing to ICDC, the International Career Development Conference. The students will travel to Orlando in April to compete once again. Reporting for WTV, I'm Isabella Santiago. Graphic design at the CTE Center is more than just a class as students are able to also take part in competitions. Right now, students are designing logos for the robotics competition this year. WTV's Michael Layton has the details. For the seventh year in a row, graphic design students at the CTE Center are creating logos for the Frisco ISD Robotics Competition. Each logo is done in black on a white background, so the students are limited to one color. The competition takes place at Lebanon Trail on May 4th, and the winning designs will be on shirts for the staff and kids involved. For senior Blake Vinson, designing the logo was new to him. Um, I think it's cool how we're designing for an actual competition. And what excites me is just, I've never done like a one colored logo before, so it's just something new. Reporting for WTV, I'm Michael Layton. Restaurants often have promotional giveaways to bring in new customers and reward loyal ones. For some people, that might mean a free menu item here or there, or maybe a discount on certain things. But one student on campus ended up getting something a little bit bigger. WTV's Melody Akbari has the details. Going to Chick-fil-A is a routine for many students and staff members. One of the most popular fast food restaurants in the area, it's not unusual to see someone carrying a drink from Chick-fil-A or eating food from there. But for senior David Poe, a visit to Chick-fil-A became more than a meal. So I went out to Chick-fil-A with um, some of my friends on, uh, on a Friday and uh, picked up a chicken sandwich with some fries and uh, I opened up the chicken sandwich and I found a little uh, blue ticket inside and it said, you've won free Chick-fil-A for an entire year. Upon finding the ticket, Post's thoughts were not ones of joy, but of confusion. I thought it was some kind of ad or promotion. I was about to throw it in the trash until I read the front of it. Um, you know, I can barely read, but I, I managed to read the front of that ticket. It said, um, you won free Chick-fil-A. So I was like, okay, cool. I uh, guess I'm keeping this. Directed to see the manager, Poe was told of his prize. 52 gift cards that grant him one Chick-fil-A sandwich, grilled chicken sandwich, spicy chicken sandwich, or an eight-count Chick-fil-A nuggets, a meal a week for a year. I've never won anything of this magnitude before. The manager told me that they give it to every 50,000th customer at Chick-fil-A. I can't compute the odds of that right now in my head, but it's, it's pretty low. And I don't think I've ever won anything uh, that significant before. You know, I've won like petty prizes and stuff, you know, but not, nothing like that. That's my first time doing that. Although Poe could enjoy a free item a week, he doesn't plan on keeping them all for himself. I don't want to gorge on that much chicken in one year. That would lead to some health problems. So I'm probably going to give about half of them away to my friends, maybe give some to my family. I'll keep like 10 to 15 for myself, but I do not need to be eating 52 chicken meals uh, in that short of time. That, that would be way too unhealthy. So. This is Melody Akbari for Wingspan TV. Fast food restaurants are seen almost everywhere, but how much do students on campus know about these nationwide chains? WTV's TJ Krilowix gets the answers. Hello and welcome to Wingspan Trivia. I'm your host TJ Krilowix and today we're going to be testing students' knowledge on fast food. Uh, Simi Valley, California. Um, I'm going to say Massachusetts. I don't know any cities in Massachusetts. Uh, Gardena, California. Uh, Texas. Get a city in Texas. Plano, Texas. Kentucky. City? Can you get a city? Uh, uh, 
Kentucky, Kentucky. Um, I'll say Kansas. Okay. A city in Kansas? No, just Kansas. Anywhere in Kansas. Okay. Kentucky. Okay. Where in Kentucky? I don't know. Just give me a guess. It's any city in Kentucky? Uh, like Kansas City. Kentucky. Get a city in Kentucky. Lexington. Kentucky. In Lexington. Eight. Probably about 15, 16 states, I'd say. 40. 20. 173,462. 107. Uh, 14,000. 20,000. 30. 30. 30. 30. Okay. Reporting for WTV, this is TJ Kurlowitz. WTV Sports brings you the latest from campus athletics. The boys and girls wrestling teams competed in their state meet on Saturday at Berry Center in Cypress Fairbanks. The girls placed second as a team, with senior Savannah West placing first and claiming the title of state champion. The boys placed sixth as a team, with senior Precious Essien and Diego Lorenzo placing second. The girls basketball team competed in their third round playoff game on Saturday against Lone Star as they looked to advance to state. At the half, the Red Hawks trailed the Rangers 15-14. The game would stay close throughout for the next two quarters, but with seconds left on the clock, the Red Hawks found themselves trailing by three. Coming off the screen, senior Randy Thompson hit a deep three as the buzzer sounded to send the game to overtime, where the Red Hawks would score to win 43-39, advancing to state. The boys took on Kimball in the second round of playoffs, but could not pull through as they fell to the Knights 65-57. And finally, softball has a game tonight at Liberty at 7.15 p.m. Reporting for WTV Sports, I'm Surya Ravachandran. If you are looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. WTV's Wade Glover has today's announcements. NHS applications are now available for current sophomores and juniors. Please see Ms. Bennett in room C216 or Ms. Duckworth in room C225 if you are interested. All applications are due by 4.30 p.m. on Wednesday. There will be a personal finance course Wednesday after school from 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. in the lecture hall. If you are interested, please scan the QR code on screen to reserve your seat. The Computer Science Club is hosting a competition on Saturday. Come to a club meeting in Mr. Bunn's room during advisory on Thursdays to get more information. ISM applications are now available. If you are interested, scan the QR code on screen. Applications are due Sunday. February is CTE month, and in order to promote career and technology classes on campus, some teachers have produced their own promos for the class. For child development, you need to be a 10th through 12th grader. There is no class fee. There's no prerequisite. Um, child development is also a prerequisite for child guidance if you would like to go uh, to the CTE center and try child guidance. So fashion design is for 10th through 12th grade. There's a $25 class fee. We'll talk about different, um, talk about the elements and principles of design and we'll do some sketching and some sewing. We've got a lot of neat projects in fashion design. We do the pumpkin pin cushion, we'll do stockings, and then you can also, uh, hopefully we'll get to the when we get to the end of the year, you'll be able to do a project of your choice.
dollars and cents. There's no prerequisite, and it is for ninth through tenth grade. It's a semester course, and it talks about and we'll study basic money management for your personal finances. <music> That's it for today's daily update. This is Melody Tavali for Wingspan TV.